Dan, it seems like old hat here doing an interview, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I miss this cap. <laughs> you don't get that over in Europe. No, yeah. I don't get it like this. I'm good to say whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're down there for the signing of the steel plate there. You look at that and what you guys, you know, you win the national championship. How much pride do you take in the fact that you're seeing a, there's a new facility going up for this program? You know, I, I think it's great. I think I think during the panel, I think Shane said it very well that it's, you know, the, the new landscape of college hockey. It's, you know, the, the school's done a great job of finding the resources to adapt and um, continue building. And I think that's, you know, it's it's like, you know, you you, you got to keep moving forward in life and it's in anything. And I think the school's done a great job of that. When you saw it, uh, the building there or the construction, what was your first thoughts? You know, I was actually, I haven't been back here much. Um, you know, just being back to Western Canada and being in Switzerland, you know, I haven't been back here much in the last 10 years. So, you know, I was very surprised at how close it was to campus. I kind of got up this morning and um, went around, and I think it was, uh, you know, it's a lot closer than I thought. So, you know, it's it, it's great. I mean, I know I, when I talked to some of you guys 10 years ago about, you know, with whether you guys should have a new building or this program should have a new building, I think, yeah, you know, Matt said, you know, if you do it, just keep the atmosphere. Don't, don't lose the atmosphere. You, you know, are you hoping that the, the atmosphere they had at Mesa uh, carries over to the new facility? You know, I, I think in life things change. You know, I think that building will have its own atmosphere. And I think, you know, I think there's great people around to help it build and great people around to work to build that. And I think, you know, the new building will have its own atmosphere. And I think... I don't know, that'll, that'll be its own thing, and I think that'll be exciting. How much are you looking forward to this weekend, uh, hanging out with your buddies? Yeah, you know, I think uh, we're all we're all excited, and we're all happy to be here. And, and, you know, I just said, you know, I would have been here from hell or high water. So, um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. It's great to reconnect with guys you haven't seen in a long time, and to have everybody together is good, and it's just a lot of fun. Obviously, the national championship was probably the best memory of that season. What secondary uh, memory you have of that year? You know, I think um, I think when we got swept by Lake Superior State at the start of the year, I think you know that was uh, you know that was interesting because like uh, after we won, we were joking about it. Like, what do you think Lake State's thinking right now? <laughs> um, so. You know, and I just think seeing us come together, build off off a, off that start to the year, and I think, um, you know, it's a credit to the staff, it's a credit to the guys, and it's 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 really special. Yeah. So, how much are you still enjoying playing pro hockey? I, I still love it. Um, I still love the game. You know, I still, you know, I feel very grateful every day that I, you know, I get paid to play hockey. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful to all the people that have helped me along the way so I can do this. And it's, um, you know, last year I really kind of fell in love with it again, and it was, it's been a lot of fun. One particular memory of your four years playing in Mesa, what would it be? Um, I think, you know, I, I think senior night was really special. I think, you know, having my family on the ice with me after the game and, you know, not everybody's, uh, you know, life happens. You know, my dad's not here anymore. My grandfather's not here anymore. And uh, I still get to see that picture with a big smile on my face and to enjoy, like, such a special experience for my, me and my family together. And it was with people that I care about and I don't care about me. And it was just amazing. That was great catching up with you, Dan. And maybe mm -hmm. 10 years from now, if I'm not retired, we'll do this. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to come back even if you're retired, Ken, for an interview. So...